Hey everybody, this is a uh, two with 3D cycle parts, and uh, I'm going to show um, just a simple video on how to install the uh, the signal repair kits for the Gen 1 KLR. If it's the 87 through the 07, and we'll show you just how to um, how easy it is to install this kit. And so that's what the kit looks like. That's what it's got with it. Hopefully my battery won't die here. So what you're gonna need for each one, each corner, you're gonna need the uh, gonna need one of these bushings. You're gonna need the little repair adapter, a lock washer, and a nut. So one kit has four of each of these parts in it. Okay, that's for each corner. All right, you're gonna need three tools should be all you need you'll have a number two Phillips 14 millimeter to take the old blinker off and a 17 to put the new nut back on so here's what I've already taken this one off but here's what um, what you're usually working with so it takes a 14 millimeter nut this is gonna be when it's on the bike the front and the back are kind of the same situation Take this 14 millimeter nut off. It's gonna be right behind the rack, or it's gonna be right inside your front fairing on the front. Take your 14 millimeter wrench, and take that nut loose. It's gonna be loose and kind of dangling there. You unhook the wires from up under the fender and pull those through, and you can take that off. Okay, you don't need the old nut. It also has this little black, this little black. Uh, cover on the wires you're going to take that off you're not going to reuse that so you just slide that off the wires and your wires the ends should be staggered from the factory if your ends have been repaired or put back on they could be even you might have to stagger the wires to get them to go through here but you just slide this off if yours is broken if yours isn't broken you have to go ahead and take the inside loose first to do this but you just take these Phillips screws out two of them Be sure to keep up with those screws. Just pull the cover off. Okay. There's a little reflector in there under this rubber gasket. So you got a rubber gasket. Take that off. And the reflector. You'll reuse all these pieces. So there's how, that's what holds the um, the inner part of the rubber stalk in. If yours is still in one piece, then it, you know, this would be hanging off here like that. Um, take your 14 millimeter, get on that nut right there. Sometimes they're a little tight. You may have to spray them with something or depending on how old your bike is. Um, <laughs> They've been there a while, so. You just hold that from the back with your hand. It's, it's, you usually don't need anything else, but if yours are really tight, you may need to stick a pair of pliers or channel locks or vice grips on that back to hold it. Uh, probably out of the, I don't know, 100 or so that I've done over the years. Uh, maybe one or two has been rusted up and I had to hold it with something, but. Go ahead and take your bulb out. <coughs> Helps to get it out of the way. Sometimes these threads are a little crusty and so you just have to use a wrench to take it all the way off sometimes because it won't spin. Sometimes it'll just spin with your fingers. So. Get that nut off of there and then you can pull that stud out from the back. Let's see what's left of that you just pull it off the wires and it'll, it'll ease out of there sometimes they're sometimes they're fairly tight there's a little rubber grommet on those wires sometimes it's tight in there so just pull that off toss that you don't need it stick your wires pull your wires through and all this comes right out the front okay 
Now, before you get ready to put everything back together, I'm gonna pull the wires through that bracket and get the, the old nut off of there. It don't need to be there, okay? And then you're ready to go back with it. So what you do, you stick that light bracket, the bulb bracket back down in there. Take your adapter, slide it through from the inside. Then you take your wires and feed them back through just like that. And then pull the slack out, kind of feed those back in there. And it needs to look just like that, okay? Now, you're ready to put it back on the bike. I usually put the lens and all that back on after I got in the bike because you, you need to be able to stick your finger in there and hold that in place as you're putting that nut on the back. Next thing is this little bushing. So you've got this little plastic bushing that's made to fit inside the back of this housing and take up that slack and to support it so when you tighten it down it doesn't you don't risk cracking the housing. So you put that on there and it should be pretty snug on that adapter. But you just wiggle it around a little bit and it'll slide all the way up. And it fits really nice and snug right inside that housing, okay? So that's the way that should look when you're ready to put it back on the bike. Now you just need your lock washer and your nut. And what you'll do on the rear, kind of the same on the front, first thing you do is stick your wires through. And before you stick the wires into the fender, of course, this is just like any blinker. This is not specific to this kit. You stick your washer and your nut on there before you stick them through the fender. And you feed that through into the hole, reach in there and get that washer slid into place. Not a lot of room to work with, but it's, it's not bad. Now, to, to make this enough threads to be able to grab hold of this nut, you're gonna have to uh, hold this in from the outside really nice and snug against the rack so that all your slack is pushed through the back. And then you just start that nut just like that. Simple as that. You get it started, then you take your 17 millimeter wrench and you hold it here. I like to hold it with my thumb right there. And then just turn that nut. Once you get the, once you turn this nut a few turns, the lock washer will pull all the way down. And it'll get to a point to where you can feel it actually snug up and be a little harder to turn. And it's, this thing, sh this signal shouldn't be easily moved. If you really crank down on it, you should be able to move it. Um, you don't want it to where it just can't move. That way if something maybe hits it, it can, it can move without breaking. I try to line them up on the bike with the bike sitting level and have these kind of square. So that's that. It's re the housing is reattached to the bike. Now, uh, take your parts. You'll have your bulb, the reflector, the rubber seal, gasket. Put your bulb back in. Slide your reflector in. Put your gasket on there. It'll set right in place, just like that. Line it up with the holes. Get your screws and your screwdriver and your lens. The lens will go either way. You just set it right into place and put your screws back in. And if everything's lined up, the screws should drop right into their places. Make sure that lens is always seated. You heard it snap in. It's, it's got a groove that sits in there.
snug those screws up and it's done and that's what you're left with reconnect your wires on the bottom side uh, make sure you pay attention to the coloring of the wires line those up reconnect your wires and that's what it looks like so if you um if you've bought these and you're looking at this on the website, I mean that's kind of how you that's how you put them on. It's the same way in the front. If you come across this video and you don't have a kit yet, uh, that's what the kit looks like, minus the parts there for that. It does all four corners, it fixes the OEM style blinkers. There are some aftermarket blinkers that look just like the factory ones. I have used this kit on those. Um, signals those blinkers and it works good they're close enough to the original part uh, that pretty much if your if your blinker looks just like you know these factory blinkers it should work I haven't come across any that look just like those whether OEM or aftermarket that were like a replacement you know exact copy uh, that it didn't work on so if you need a kit uh, our websites www.3dcycleparts.com they're also available on eBay and Amazon. And so uh, if you have any questions, go to the website, send us an email there. It's the best way to get in contact. And if we can do anything to help, just uh, give us a shout. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, click the subscribe button, and uh, we'd appreciate it. Thanks.